Hello. Well, I think we're here. Yay. All right. It's our first uh, art class online. Wait a minute. Oreo is here. He's going to take a more watchful look so he doesn't get paint. Simon and I are trying to figure out the tech, so we might have to be very close so you can see things. Um, but hello and welcome. Here, do you want to put Oreo over there so he could take a look? Yeah, he can watch us. So welcome. Welcome to art class. This week here, you okay. may want to move your legs. You might want to, here, yeah. Got my assistant, uh, special friend, and got me this mug. My son. And, well, yes, and my son. My son, my assistant, the, I, who I'm not paying. Sorry. Wait, you said you didn't pay me. Mm-mm. I'm not paying. You're working for free. Child labor laws. So this is part of life's happy little accidents. Okay, we didn't plan for this, it's cool. We're gonna be doing our first online crafting class. Yep. Our phone is actually being held up. By toilet paper. By toilet paper. It's the only way we could keep the phone plugged in. So, from this morning's class, we are being creative and we're using toilet paper. And that's what our class is about, an ode to, um, to this interesting situation. And how many Bob Ross references we can cram into one Ooh. stream. Ooh, that's a challenge that I like. So, we just got on. For some of you that know I'm a stickler for time, it's, um, it's a problem. Here, why don't you, can you come up closer here? You seem so far, far away. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. So uh, we're going to wait a couple of minutes before we start until we see uh, that a couple people are on because some people um, really were interested in this art class. Yay. Yes, yes. So, uh, but for the time being, we'll have some coffee. I don't drink coffee. Mm. Puts hair on your chest. There's one person watching. There is one person watching. Yay. Welcome. Welcome. So um, I'm going to let a couple of people I heard... There might be at least two people that want to take this class today. So, yeah, here, hold on. So we're going to start to go through um, what the class is about. So if you're new to our uh, Facebook page, we, well, not really him, but me, uh, I'm Deborah from the Center for Enhancing Abilities uh, in the Birkin location. We have three. We have three locations. And I'm a random child. Yes, a random child. So, and um, we have one in Bergen, which is in Washington Township. We have one in Morris uh, County, which is Cedar Knolls. And we have one uh, Middlesex County in Edison. So we welcome, hopefully through time, we'll even get some, uh, lots of members from, different, from the different centers. You are welcome, even if you're not familiar with me. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Okay. So, let's, um, mm, we might have to take a break. We have a sad kid. Sad kid. I get it. Some of us just having some sad times. Alrighty. So, here we go. We are going to work on our supplies. Okay? So today's project, in honor, did you know, Simon, it is the first day of spring? It is? It is the first day of spring. Didn't Everything seem like it. so dead. That may not really be the uplifting tone we need during this time, but it is the first day of spring. So we are going to work on a spring craft. This is, um, right now we're just working on things that we have around the house, because some of us might not get a chance to go to a Although store. Although some of us might not have toilet paper. Well, everybody at this point should have toilet paper. I hope. I hope. So in in honor of um, this situation, um, we're making a toilet paper craft because I find the irony in it. So we're making a three-dimensional. For those of you who don't know what 3D means, 
Simon, are humans 3D or 2D? I think it might be 4D. Well, 4D is a whole nother story, but we're just dealing in the second, the two dimensions and the three dimensions. Three. We're three dimensions. So we have, um, we have length, we have width, and we also have depth. Some of us more than others. Unlike our 2D friends. Mm-hmm. Two-dimensional art is usually, let's see, you'd see a drawing, and it's length and uh, width. Our, all art is technically two-dimensional. Well, not this. This is three-dimensional. Oh, well, This like, is three-dimensional. Instead of sculptures, but like... Yes, and this is a sculpture. This picture is two-dimensional. Okay, great. So we're going to be doing a 3D kind of effect and working with things that we might have around the house. That's our purpose for today. So welcome to our one person <laughs> that's here. But that's okay. Um, we will be, uh, this video will be saved. You can access it throughout the week at any time. And we will be also um, be doing more live streams. And we will also be doing um, kind of lessons and activities uh, through our YouTube channel. So that will be helpful for some people too. So we've already been talking as a whole center to uh, bring fine programming to everyone. So I'm, I'm wasting a little bit of time so to make sure and get a couple of people. So welcome. Let's start going through our supply list. You know what our project is? This is a very tiny size. So um, you're going to be working with a cardboard box if you can. Yes, thank you. We're going to use these for our palettes as well. If you get your Amazon uh, books or bo books uh, boxes or anything like that, save the cardboard boxes. You can use them for um, canvas, really cheap canvas, and also for your palettes too. They work really well where you put your paints on. So this one is our sample. Mm. Um, from afar, it looks pretty far out, I think. And this is pretty good for pandemic art that didn't have to go to the store. Hopefully you would have some of these supplies in your house. So hopefully if you're like me, do we get a lot of deliveries from Amazon, Simon? I guess we do. We do. So if you have cardboard boxes, feel free, get a cardboard box. You don't have to use cardboard boxes. You could use a cereal box. You can use um, um, the back of like, a, if you have an old pad or um, um, if you have canvas, you can use canvas. That's kind of fancy. But, or you can just use cardstock or you can use regular construction paper. It can be anything, okay? Any kind of paper. We wanted it a little bit sturdy, you know? So cardboard or any type of paper that you might have. Okay, poster board, anything, anything, cereal boxes, I don't know, anything, okay? So that is cardboard. So we have, uh, Simon and I, uh, do you want to do a large, well, I'm not going to give you the big, big one. Do you want to do a small one or a medium or a large one? Really? Okay, you're gonna do that one. Uh, I really didn't wanna do one this big, but I'll do a big one. Okay, you could do small. Size is up to you, doesn't matter. It's all up to you, okay? Okay, now, sorry, we digress. Okay, so, Find your paper, anything. I, I realized this after the fact that I probably should have told you the supplies. I didn't think this through. I didn't. Some of you know me, I'm not always thinking. So we'll try to do that for the next class. We'll try to have um, something up. Hello, I think Cheryl and Kara are watching. Hello. Hope you have your cardboard. Um, so things around the house, okay? Paper, cardboard, anything. The size is completely up to you. Hello, Kara. Hello. This must be torture for you because I know you love my art class so much. But enjoy. Enjoy. This you could just just watch and make fun of me. So, so get your cardboard. 
Um, that is your first supply. Simon is distracted by the cats. Then we're also going to use um, paints. You can use any kind of paints because this is the first day of spring. Um, we're recommending, uh, you can use acrylic paints. These are like common craft paints, things like that. Any kind of paints that you have, okay? Anything. A watercolor won't work as much. Um, you could use crayons. I mean, you could use anything, I guess. It might be a little harder for you to manipulate, but some kind of paint, okay? Any kind of paint, okay? Dollar store, whatever, okay? We're picking with a, a spring palette. Simon, so we're going to be working a lot with either bright, happy colors or pastels. Spring. What about spring. green? What? Spring has a lot of green. It, it does, but we don't need you raining on our parade. I don't know how I would do We that, don't want to rain on our parade. We want to be optimistic, even though know. it was freezing, rain, and all that stuff. So, you have your cardboard. You have your paints. Yes, you're going to need brushes. Um, I'm pretty lucky. I, I'm an art teacher, so I have a lot of brushes. You're going to want to pick maybe a medium one, and you're also going to want um, a fatter brush. This brush, you will be doing some brush abuse. We'll be talking about um, those things. You know how I feel about that, people who've taken my classes. No brush abuse. We're going to be a little rough on our brushes today, but that's okay. We need to get some of that aggression out. Okay, so brushes. Um, try to get yourself, it will help. Um, this is not for drinking. Um, some clean water in a jar, a cup. Somebody get rid of that cat. Okay, that'll help clean your brushes. Uh, so we have our cardboard, our paints, our brushes. The next thing is you should not be doing that. You're gonna be, we're gonna be using toilet paper. This one still has some toilet paper. Okay, we gotta work on that. Um, you know, I always have some weird feelings about toilet paper crafts because when, you know, I've done them for kids' classes and, you know, these were in somebody's bathroom. If you have a germaphobe, work with paper towels. I'm just saying this was in somebody's bathroom. Since it's just our art, I guess it's okay. So some type of toilet paper roll. If you do not have this, you can use any type. I, pref I recommend thick paper, like cardstock, or fold over um, some construction paper because we want it to be a little thick because we want it to make these little, these little circles, okay? All right, so toilet paper roll or paper towel, okay? So our cardboard, our paper towel rolls, our paints, our brushes, our water. The next thing, the next thing we're going to use, don't worry, you're going to get a lot of action, is um, glue. Because we don't want things falling apart on the air, we are going to use a glue gun. You know how I feel about cordless glue guns. They're awesome, worth every penny. Get a cordless glue gun. But um, remember safety first. Uh, I always tell all my classes how I've burned myself many a times with hot glue. Hey, Jamie, welcome, welcome. We got Kara, we got Jamie. Good, all right. So just be careful. Oh, we got Stephanie from Morris. Hello, Stephanie, so excited to see you. Well, sort of. So great to have you on, great to have you on. Super excited. So our cardboard, our paints, our brushes, our clean water, our toilet paper rolls, child is not necessary, and glue, some type of glue. I left my other glues downstairs. Maybe next week we'll be in my crafting room. I think that might be a good way. And um, free plug, uh, get some paper towels or napkins, something like that to dry off your brush and to clean your hands. This is a shout out to Mark Howe. Uh, everybody knows our favorite Markal employee is Donna, and Markal is busy working today, today. So thank you, Markal. Show it. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we're ready. We got a group of people. We got some students. We're ready to go. So our first thing that we're going to do is we're going to paint the cardboard with some uh, some paint. So you're going to put your toilet paper rolls aside for a moment, they're not important. Oh, I'm sorry, scissors, you're gonna need scissors too. No. 
well, not everybody might not know that. Okay, so what we're going to do, don't work with 11 year olds. We are, we are going to do our um, painting. So your first step is you're going to get, um, depending on the size of your canvas, we're working pretty big, nope, not that one. I'm working on a pretty big piece. Simon, I'm gonna give you this one because I think this one's oh. in better shape. This one's gonna break off and everybody's gonna know how cheap I am when I come to my brushes. So, oops, we're going to paint the background really quick. So that will dry. Oh. And um, so we're going to use one of the extra. You can use a paper plate. You can use newspaper. We have newspaper down on our table. And, um, or you can use like small pieces of cardboard for your palette. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick our background. Originally, I recommend, um, I'm gonna go lighter and we're gonna put um, some darker colors in the background. If you choose dark for your background, you're gonna put lighter colors um, around, okay? So to get nice contrast. So Simon, what color would you like to paint your background? Um, I'm going to paint my background. I'm going to make mine a little bit smaller. Uh, blue. You want a blue. All right. Now, just so you know, what color you paint your background might affect what color your flowers are going to be. All right. So Simon, um, I've got two different blues. I've kind of got this nice pale blue. Sky blue. Or I've got this robin egg blue. Robin egg. Robin egg, okay? Eggs. All right. So whatever color you're going to do, just hold on. My students at the Bergen Center, hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, I think, Simon, I might paint my background. Um, I'm going to paint my background. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I thought I had white. Oh, here we go. I'm going to paint my background white. I'm going to be really boring. Can I use white and yellow to in the background? Well, you're going to use your yellow in the background. I thought you were using blue. So now yes, we wasted I, I'm all going it. To use three of them. No, we're doing one at a time. What? You would what fail my class. Start? We're going to work on that. We're going to work on that. You're going to do that afterwards. So, ooh. That's why I'm making the background blue. Yes, yeah, so don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to do one layer of one color kids today they don't listen so you're going to take your paint on your palette they're always rules you're going to take a pretty broad brush I recommend a broad brush a big brush and you're going to paint just across okay big strokes see how that's working big brush strokes across now depending on your needs and your abilities you might want to go up and down that might be better for you okay we want to try to create uniform brush strokes. Um, it, it, it's, I'm big into order, so just going back and forth, lathering it on. You can also apply the, um, the paint. Uh, my white paint's a little gloppy. Um, oh, my watch is telling me to breathe. I thought you would have already known that. I would have thought I knew that anyway, but I'm glad I paid, you know, $400 or whatever these stupid things are to tell me that. Who knew? Who knew? So, feel free. When you're on here, I can't see uh, who's on until you kind of let me know. You can also sp squirt your paint directly on your canvas. That's cool, too. Uh, working with your brush strokes back and forth. So, I'm working. The idea is, uh, as Simon said, he's making like a, uh, a sky. That's why it helps to make your strokes... Ooh. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Ugh. That's what happens when you have old paints. Uh, they get a little crusty or yucky. Uh, so we're going back and forth. We want this kind of nice, um, it helps. It doesn't have to be. You can do it all over. You can do it in circles if you want to create a pattern. But whatever your pattern is, try to maintain that pattern. How Just saying. How are you already doing? Because I'm awesome. That's how I'm already done. I'm an art teacher, man. Uh, or it's like, what is that from Ghostbusters? Back off, man. I'm a, I'm a scientist. Well, 
I'm, I'm an artiste, all right? So this is really cool. We have some members from the Bergen Center and some members from the Morris Center. I think we'll hit a trifecta if we get anybody from Edison. I'd be so thrilled and excited. So make sure you um, share this information and just let people know our goal for the rest of the week and probably next week is to do a video in the morning hours, like around 10, 1030, and one in the afternoon, 1.30 or 2 o'clock, depending on who the instructor is, okay? Tomorrow there will be music with Tony. That sounds like a TV show. Yeah, music with Tony. And, uh, ooh, Hannah H., very nice. Hannah, thank you so much. All right. Oh, Some of these people I know from the fashion show. So wonderful, wonderful. I'm super excited that we have some people here. And if you missed it, just go back and watch the video. But as I said, our supplies, cardboard, things around your house. You didn't know this was happening, so now we're just raiding the house for supplies. That's what we're doing. So Simon's a little slow. Well, that's... Uh, on his stuff. So we want you to do a whole background, okay? We're working with basic craft paints. Just fill in your, your background, whatever color. I picked white because, I don't know, I just wanted you to be able to see. I wanted a lot of contrast. Um, ooh, I, don't, I left my color wheel at the center, so I always talk about that. So we want lots of contrast. Ooh. Art's dangerous. Okay, this is what we're working on. For those of you showing up late, forgive us. We're just working on a toilet paper craft. So you can put this on your wall and you'll always remember this week and the run on toilet paper. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And I have a lot of contrasts here. There's a big contrast. So we're using our color wheel skills to show the contrast. So like blue and orange are farther apart. They're kind of like opposites. I'm trying to visualize, I believe. That's why they really stand out. They really pop. The green and the blue, they're like cousins, I call them on the color wheel. They're very close together, so they blend a lot more. Okay? So that's what we're doing. Okay? So make sure you get lots of paint, whatever color your background is. We're working in a uh, spring color palette, so we want lots of pastels with maybe some nice bright uh, colors too. Um, usually our spring palettes are nice soft blues, pinks, lilacs, yellows, oranges, like kind of those greens, those happy colors. Um, a fall palette would be more of those earthy, um, deserty kinds of tones, those dark reds, those rusts, those browns, those dark greens. We're not doing that. It's spring. It's the first day of spring. I mean, you could do whatever you want. It's up to you. I'm not going to come to your house and say, or don't she, do that. Or maybe she will. Duh. Maybe, but I might get fined if I go to somebody's house. You should. I'm yeah. socially distancing. All righty, so hopefully you've worked through. We got a whopping four people, I'm very excited. Um, we put in our background, okay? And that's good because we do that first so the paint can dry. Now, I, I know some art teachers um, use a lot of dryers and um, like little heaters and things like that with your pan. I don't know what that thing's called, but yeah, hair dryers. You can use hair dryers. You can do that, but by the time I'm rattling on, you're gonna. You only need really one one coat. If you want to do two, you can, but you can use a hair dryer to dry it. I never do that um, because I like to prolong things. I like to prolong misery and all that stuff. So just just keep it. It'll dry. And you It'll say dry. I'm the dark one. Yes, I know. I'm very dark. I'm very dark. So we're going to put, nice, Simon, can you show people? So Simon and I, okay, good. So Simon, what we're going to do is, what do we do with our brush? I don't know if any members are watching. It. Well, yeah, we don't leave wet brushes just hanging out. Or you get hit. No, I'm kidding. Um, you put it, just put it in the water. It's cool. We just want to keep it wet so our brushes don't dry off. So try to remember that so you don't lose your brushes. What is it called? Please, any Bergen members, please chime in. What is my number one, uh, um, what would pet you peeve. call it, pet peeve in the art room? I'm not gonna say it yet. I'm gonna see if somebody comes to my rescue, okay? Please, this is interactive, okay? But you know what it is, and some of you who do it, you know who you are. 
You know what it is? Not putting wet brushes away. It's brush abuse. Brush abuse. Enough. Let it stop. No more brush stop abuse. Stop it. Okay? Because I'm cheap. I can't afford it. Okay. So our next thing is we're going to put aside our canvas. It's drying. And we're going to move. Ooh, that's really nice. I really like this color. No more brush abuse. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl and Kara. No more brush abuse. It must stop. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, we are going to take our, uh, from Kara. Okay, Kara, if you've learned anything, you've learned well in my class. Thank you. Okay, so, Kara says it, no more brush abuse. Be kind to your brushes. Don't be scraping the metal part, you know, the, against your, your, your canvas, your paper, It'll rip it apart. This is different, we're dealing with cardboard, so it's, it's a little bit easier. Don't worry, we're gonna have time with a little bit of brush fun. Just just flirting with brush abuse. So here we go. Wow, you, you, uh, so here's your canvas. Our palette, you're like all over the place. Oh, you have paint abuse too. Alrighty, we're working in a very confined space so we're not crooked like we were the last time. It looked like we had drunk too much beer. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna start to do the design. So we are going to now grab our toilet paper rolls or your paper towel rolls. Does anybody really have that issue um, when you use this craft that this is something that was in somebody's bathroom by their toilet? I, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a germaphobe or what, but it's just something I think about. Okay. Yeah, you never thought about it until I told you. Now you're all gonna be horrified. Uh, I mean, it's clean. It's clean, but. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take um, this. I'm going to give Simon the dirty toilet paper roll. And we are... <laughs> Such a good mother. I, well, I'm not. So, Simon, what you're going to do is we are going to show you an easy way to cut the toilet paper roll or your paper towel roll. So, some people will just cut... They'll kind of flatten it, but that might crush your shape, okay? So we want them to stay kind of as round as possible. If you do not have toilet paper rolls because you were victim of the great rationing of TP, um, first of all, let me know. I do, I keep saying this is a joke, but it's actually true. I do have a lot of toilet paper. My sister works for Mark House, so I have a lot of toilet paper. So if you need it, please let me know, you're okay. But you can also use uh, like construction paper, cardstock. It doesn't have to be necessarily toilet paper. We want um, a paper that's a little thick because it's got to make a shape and stand up. So if you're using construction paper or regular paper, just fold it in half. So it's, it's kind of, and you're going to use it on the fold where you're going to cut it. Okay. So how are we going to do cats are going nuts. So how are we going to do this without crushing it and actually making it easier for you? Because sometimes when you flatten it, you it, it rips and it tears. So what you're going to do, Simon, you've got some scissors. We are going to take the toilet paper roll. I never taught a class like this before. Okay. And right in the middle, you're going to cut just a line up. See how I'm doing that? So we're cutting it like open but it still keeps its shape. See how that works, all right? I'm just curious, anybody following along on their own trying this? Let me know if we're going too fast. Let me know if we're going too slow. I'm trying to, you know, stretch it out, so okay. So there we go, we have our toilet paper roll and it's opened up. So this is gonna help us cut and control the, um, the spacing. Now, when I'm really nutty, which is most of the time, I might even measure out an inch with a ruler and a pencil. We're not gonna do that today. We are talking about, from our morning class, letting things go, right? Just letting it go, being flexible. So we're not gonna go nuts over that uh, part. How do you feel about that? You, you just got paint on your shirt. <sighs> I are my apron. I did? Yeah, I man. I see it. It's right there. It's like as big as you. What? It's like very so, small. It's very small. It's your whole shoulder. So what we're going to do is we are going to cut on the arc. Okay? See the shape? 
We're going to cut on the arc so we get these nice little circles and then we can shape them and glue them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut, I don't know if this works, see how I'm doing that? Going around, going around. So uh, you can make them very thin. That's kind of something called quilling. Have you ever heard of quilling? I wouldn't cut it in the middle. Quilling, have you ever heard of that? It's like taking paper and rolling it up. So maybe make them to about a half an inch to an inch and you're gonna cut around, okay? Around. So as this flies off, boink, you're gonna get this. See how I have this? See about, let's see. Okay, well my manicure is now getting ruined. But see, about that much, okay? And you're gonna take, you're gonna cut quite a few. They don't have to be the same size in terms of width. Um, it's nice if you're that type of person that wants that, that's totally cool. But the other thing we said in the morning, we're going to, to be kind to ourselves. We're gonna forgive ourselves for things like that. We don't want them too thin, they seem to not, do that great, they, uh, especially at the ends of the rolls. But you're making these little these little strips that are round, okay? If you are just working with paper, cut them into strips. Maybe they're about about three inches, three inches wide or long, I guess. I don't know. So you're gonna cut some of those, and I would really. The toilet paper roll actually ones, uh, unless I'm using just cheap toilet paper, the toilet paper rolls I find are thinner than the paper towel rolls. I don't know. The paper towel rolls typically also might be a little bit uh, longer. So if you have two different ones, you can make different sizes and shapes. That's cool because this is your own springtime design. Okay, so Simon, you are cutting some as well. How are you enjoying uh, school remotely? Um, it's okay. It's okay? Are you finding it hard or easy to do? It's oh, not hard, but not easy. Not hard, but not easy. It sounds like life in general, I think is probably true. So, okay. All right, so... Let's see. Uh, please post the schedule on Facebook so we know when to tune in again. Yes, we will be doing that. Hello, hello, Michelle. I have something I have to finish for you. We'll just leave it at that, okay? Code, does that make sense? I think so. Don't worry, it's not top secret, anybody. But that's what we're uh, doing. So, yes, we will post a schedule. We'll try to post it every day. As I said to other people, our Facebook page is going to be our main like hub. I think this is the easiest way to do it. And then we'll be posting other stuff on our YouTube page and we'll be putting a link to that too. Just never got around to using our YouTube page. And we will take blogs from center, uh, from members from all three centers. So the Bergen has a blog, it's an online blog. I will take it. You can email me, um, message me if you want my email, but we're gonna, we're gonna stay connected. Okay, so hopefully all of you have um, made your your little curly, well, they're not curly cues, they're half cues or whatever. They're U's, they're U's. So you have these U's, okay? Uh, before you critique my craft, I needed to bring this together very quickly. So it's what I had. But I'll give you a tour of my craft room, so maybe you can give me some ideas. Okay, so now, we are going, this for those of you joining late, this is the project we're working on. Members projects are always better than mine. We're doing a three-dimensional, remember three-dimensional, there's length, there's width, and there's depth, because all of us have depth. And then there's time. And there's time, that's, that's true. that's 40. That's a whole nother class. That's metaphysics, I don't know what that is. So, now we're gonna get back to our Everybody okay? Anybody having any problems? Let us know. So we are going back to our canvas. Your canvas does not have to be this big. Remember, it was a piece of cardboard or paper or cereal box, whatever it is. Okay? So, because I know by us, I don't think we're supposed to be going to a store. So we're staying home. So we're using stuff around the house, and that's what my crafting classes are going to really focus on, my art classes. Okay? So, now we have this. Now you're gonna break out your glue. 
Um, a glue stick won't work. It's not. Oh, it's not tough enough. So Simon and I, for the purpose of of production, we are going to um, risk burning ourselves for you. Um, that doesn't sound like a good deal. Well, I I'm willing to do it. I've burned my hands so many times; it's ridiculous. Uh, some of my students know. Does anybody know the story about the haunted house craft that I did um, with a bunch of kids? So if you know that, chime in. Uh, what happened? I think it was my haunted house. Just, 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 yeah, it, it was a bad scene. Okay, so this is the fun part. You're going to take these little curly Q's or these U's or Were you C's. Sent to the emergency C? room? No, I was not sent to the emergency room. I'm tough. I'm a tough lady. You're a tough carrot. I, I'm a tough carrot. Um, <laughs> Pour that cake. All right, my hair. Still no haircut. Okay, this is your design part. If you're using paper or your curly Q's aren't very curled, you're gonna shape them, you're gonna twist them to make them more round, okay? But now is the time where you're gonna make a flower. So what we're doing is there's different ways to make a flower, and I'm gonna show you the main ways, okay? So hold on. You ready? You wanna hold this? Hold this for me. So. Oh no, I dropped one of my strips. No, they're toilet paper. So, when you're making a flower, generally, you have a center. I don't know what that's called. And then what we're doing is you can make circles going around. Now, from a design standpoint, five or odd numbers work the best. They look the best. But you might find that you need about six to fill it in. It's up to you. Now you can have flowers with just four, okay? But these are all working in a center, okay? All working in a center. The other way to do this is to have no center. How is that? That's very philosophical too, no center. And that you might work with just taking your circles and just putting them together. This is up to you, okay? It is up to you on which way you wanna do it. I know that doesn't look very beautiful, but it's up to you. You are the designer, you are the artist. I have a kid for sale. So what you're going to do, it depends on the size of your canvas and the number of toilet paper cues that you have, but you're gonna start by laying them out first. So this is a little hard for me. So what you're gonna do is uh, think of your space and how you're positioning things. Do you want it, like here, I knew my space, my canvas was very small. So I worked in the middle, okay? Worked in the middle on up, and that's where I added my uh, highlighting and things like that, okay? So I want you to take some time and you're gonna start with whatever design you want. Maybe I'm gonna do one in the middle and then I'm gonna put them around, okay? So start with your design. Simon and I are gonna work a little faster because we have a glue gun. If you have a glue gun, that's great because you can actually lay them out a lot faster. So Simon, why don't you put your toilet paper um, rolls um, around, think of where you want them. When you're working with glue guns, please know, please be very careful. Uh, this stuff really scalds and it drips all over the place. And um, usually if you're working with a center one first, uh, put that down first. Start with your center first. Start with your center. What is that called? Does anybody know? What's the, what's the center called of a flower? If you know, I please let I, us know. What is that? What is that? I forgot. You the forgot? Center. Hmm. The center. The center. So maybe that's what you do. Maybe put a few centers first and then figure out. Now, if you want smaller, um, like with my sample, what I did was I then proceeded to cut the curly cues in half. So, um, darn it, that really hurt. <laughs> why do you keep on doing that? I don't know why I keep on doing it. Boy, that hurt. What did you expect would happen? I was very good not cursing. I don't know. I don't know what I expected. 
I don't know which one I want to use. I don't know. But we already have an injury. Um, crafting is not for the weak. Got an okay? injury? You deserve it's not. It's for the strong. Do you have some of your breakfast in your hair? Or is that glue? I don't know what that is. Okay. So laying out your stuff, laying out your stuff. We're trying we're trying to do this within the time period, so please bear with us. This is the first art class we've done online. So if it's too much and you come back, that's cool. Don't worry about it. We won't we won't be too insulted. A little bit. Um, so just with regular glue, you're gonna have to kind of let it go and dry. Oh, we have another fan. We have uh, Mr. Daniel there. So, I hope I that's had insurance. Weird, I, I don't know, know if that's the glue that or my finger. Is. Ooh, I really burned it. I, you know, I was stupid. I just put my finger right in it. Not too smart. Okay, so, um, so what I did, what I did was um, I started to put my centers in. I'm going to show you from this perspective. Okay, my little centers. And then, um, maybe I don't want big loopy, loopy ones. Okay, all righty. Okay, so you have one big flower. You have one big flower. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with Simon putting his glue down so he doesn't meet the same fate I came, that I suffered. With you got pain? You deserve it. I got I got burned. You deserve it. What? <laughs> I don't deserve I don't it. Know. It's just I don't deserve it. Okay? Just if you're using a glue gun, hold it down till it dries. If you're using regular glue, there is a way, if you're finding it's really frustrating, I probably should have said this from the beginning, you can paint your curly cues ahead of time, let them dry, and then glue them. I find it more fun to paint them once they're on because it changes um their look uh in my opinion okay so what i'm going to do is with the glue gun I, I don't always recommend this but you can also do it on the uh tail end or you can you know on the edge that is a good way and it helps you shape it at the time okay but uh, for safety purposes, we were just too lazy to bring up our glue from uh, downstairs. So just working with your things, you're going to start to place them and you're going to start to glue them. Okay. Okay. So we're trying to do this quickly for you guys so we can work in this. Okay. Okay. All righty. Let's go. Let it go. Uh, I might just do uh, avant-garde flowers, you know. I might do bugs. I don't know. Okay. We're just coming in. How's everybody doing? Wow. These are some strange ones here. All right. Okay. I got hit by a hot glue gun. You got hit by a hot glue gun or I burned mean, like, by burned. a hot glue gun? Don't do it. It's not fun. It does hurt. So if you see me I also, freaking out. I also touched dry ice before. Dry ice? Where would you get dry ice? Camp. Camp? That sounds kind of dangerous. It was dry ice ice cream. They consumed it. Okay. In case you can't okay. So dry ice. Guys, so how's everybody doing? Sorry for the delay. I burned like myself about four times. Watching. You should all be impressed with my tolerance of pain. That's dark. Dude, I've burned my finger like four times. It's painful. Again. It's painful. It's painful. It's painful. So keep gluing, keep gluing, keep getting your shape. Okay, like I said, we needed it to be dried right away. Feel the burn. Okay. Put it in water. Ooh, ooh, I really got myself good. All righty, so Simon's is is pretty good. Sorry, Simon, you have a flower that's losing. There's Simon's. I'm going to take um, a different shape. 
I'm sad. Why are you sad? Look at it. it it's 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 beautiful. I mean, we can readjust it. Can we? Okay, we can readjust it. Are you you not happy with my? That's OCD. Oi. It just okay. fits so perfectly inside. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna do something a little different with mine. Okay, hold on. We're gonna redo this. Yay! All right. All right. Well, you burn yourself again. I hope not because I'm in like agony. But anything for art. Well, isn't art suffering as art, or art is suffering, art is pain? I don't know. Or just so. <sighs> You are in pain whenever you do. Art. Okay, so I don't know how you're. Ooh, ooh, these things—they're like spider webs. So this is mine. <laughs> these are gonna be like like little, I don't know, like <laughs> flowers. <laughs> so they'll they'll have something. Uh, they'll, it'll make sense. It'll make sense because I don't want to keep you on. Alrighty, so we have our things here, and now is the fun part. As if you weren't already having fun. We are going to be working with our brushes. Um, you're going to pick, I like flat brushes, Simon. I don't know. You're going to pick a brush. What about and that, brushes? What? You could use round brushes. Because what you're going to do is, you're going to now as your glue, hopefully it's dried. Or when you come back to it, you're going to brush. What, I said what you're going to paint the brushes? outsides of your um of your flowers, of your toilet paper. So I'm thinking, you're gonna pick those nice themes. I'm thinking, I'm gonna use red and pink for mine. Red, the color of blood. So, uh, Stark, uh, what color are you gonna paint yours? Now, you should have it want to um, contrast. Red and yellow. With your, uh, with your background, red. I like that. Or you can have it blend in, it's up to you. So what do you want to red, paint Red, yellow, it? and orange. Okay, so let's start with one color at a time. So we're gonna give you yellow. I mean, you're gonna give you red. And I'm gonna show you which way this is working. So we're gonna paint on the outsides. I'm trying to see, see how I'm doing that? See how I'm doing that? Okay, so we're gonna paint, I'm gonna leave my, my tops a different color. These are gonna be like little tulips on mine because I wanted to save time. So you're gonna paint going around, nice three-dimensional kind of work. And it's okay if it gets a little uh, on your canvas. It's okay, see how I have that going in? And then going around on the top. See how I did that? Okay, we're gonna do the insides later. So make sure you know which colors you're using. Okay. Okay, and we're painting around for our first color choice. Remember, you can paint all your flowers different colors. I'm one that, oops, sorry, Simon, I hit you in the head. Yeah. Sorry. That's nothing compared to burns, glue gun burns. Um, I wonder, is that a worker's comp? Or does this qualify? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. And we're going to come in. I don't know if you can see how I'm doing that. I'm just painting around. Okay, just getting around. Okay, see how I did that? I'm painting around there. I'm not doing the inside yet because I want to see what these look like. These could also be ladybugs, my shape. Just saying, just saying. You're gonna either switch brushes or make sure you clean your brush. Okay, switch your, okay. We'll see what I'm be doing. Be gentle. Oh, I'm seeing what you're doing. Simon's just doing his thing, so I'm happy with it. This could be anything you want. You don't have to go by my directions. Um, and then what I think I was gonna do, I was gonna do pink, but I think what I'm gonna do is yellow. I think I'm gonna do yellow for the tops. So like what, daffodils, tulips? I don't know. Those look like bugs. Bugs. 
bugs. How appropriate. So I'm doing yes, it my. Is it is appropriate. Has a lot of bugs. Yes. Spring does have a lot of bugs. What's your favorite bug, Simon? Praying mantis. Praying mantis? Especially the female ones. Why? Isn't because she not nice? Yeah, that's the point, man. Let's, cool. This is a G-rated show. Let's keep it G. Um, okay. Okay. Why? Doesn't she kill them? It, well, let's... Yeah, technically that's G-rated. Yeah. Let's Because it's let's educational. It. Mm. educational. I'm not period. having the Facebook police come and get me. So... Ah. I don't think so. They want we're to. painting. I'm going to show you once again. We're painting. So the I'm ideas, sure. and you can use this project. This can take you over a period of time. Uh, so, you know, you need something over the days. You could do this very elaborate. You could fill the whole thing up. I'm just doing it in smaller portions. Okay. Okay. Oops. My paint didn't dry. Okay, so, and you're going to go on the edges and in the sides. So, please know this was a not, oh, not, I don't know, maybe not one of my best projects. I don't know. I don't know. I've had better, just saying. But we're going to give this a shot. We're going to give this a shot. All righty. Go all the way around. How are you doing, Simon? Um... Okay. I'm still. You're still working on it. He's still working on it. This could take you a while. So there you go. See how I have I'm going yellow. I'm going to change the colors for the middle. Okay. See how I have that? Now we're going to work on the insides. That's good. So we're going to work on the inside. Simon's working away. We're going to add some inside um, accents. So, so it kind of gives it this kind of three-dimensional kind of pulling you in. So this depends on what colors you're using. Um, somebody sent me hey, a Mom, message. Me darker, I didn't mean like, to be funny. I literally, really did burn myself. I burned myself three times. Three times. Do you have during a this lighter class. or darker? And red? you can see if you slow it down, it's like, what? Do I have a darker red? I might. I a might. Lighter or darker? I might. So, um, actually, no, I don't. But how would you? Do, you do we lighter? have any members here that could tell well, me how a... I could make a lighter red? Don't add Don't all white. Add, uh, you could add white. That's called tinting, right? We're, we're adding white. It would turn a little pink. pink. And that's okay. But you want pink to make this. Yes. That's okay. And I do have a pink, and that's what I'm going to be working with. If you wanted to make it a darker red, you would add black. Black to your shading. Okay? So that would add nice depth to it. Because I'm going to be colors. working oh. with red and pink on the inside of my flower, okay? This class is probably going to go over the hour, so I'm sorry. Okay, so what do you well, need? Can I have a yellow then? Okay, yes. So here's your brush. Take another brush. And Simon's going to go for yellow now. Because are these the same yellow? And do you have orange? One's bright yellow and one's an lemon orange. yellow. Which one would you like? Bright yellow. Okay. I need an orange. And I need an orange. And normally my students in my classes know I don't let you waste paint either. I'm cheap. So, yeah. Less is more. Less is more. Okay. So I'm going to work on the inside and tell you how you can kind of create this idea. So what we're going to do, it's up to you. I'm actually going to have the outside of the inside of my circle. That's very difficult. So the out. Mine's turning the green. outside of my circle is going to be dark, and the inside of my circle is going to be light. So I'm working on the inside of my circle, but the outside of the inside circle is going to be dark, and the inside of the inside circle is going to be light. That's how I'm going to do it, okay? So I'm going to work with my red, and I'm going to take... Hmm... Hmm... I'm going to take kind of a, I'm going to go nuts. This is where you get a little bit of your brush abuse. I'm going to take a little bit of a bristly brush, a rough, rough brush. All right. And I'm going to, I don't know if you can hear that. This is our Bob Ross kind of thing. And I'm going to kind of tap in. It's hard to do. Okay, see how I'm kind of doing that? It doesn't have to be perfect. 
I'm gonna kind of, you can use brush strokes a little bit, but you know, just kind of move it in, maybe make a little circles, get that shape, tap it around. We want kind of a nice little effect, right? So just add the colors working, okay? See how I'm doing that? Yeah, all right? Bob Ross does it much better than me. Maybe add a little bit in the center there, yeah. So see how I have that? I filled those in. Ta-da. Okay. I'm going to be working with the pink first. Uh, you can wash your brush. You can use a different one. I'm going to be kind of blending. So to me, I'm just going to wipe it clean. All right. Hey, wipe it clean. Do you need more red? Here's red. Oh, I like what you're doing there. Simon is going to show his at the end, uh, which I think is pretty cool. All righty. And then I'm going to take, oops, I'm going to take some pink. I like pink and red because I love how they clash. So I like that because I'm a clashy person, I guess. So I'm just kind of, whoops, wetting my brush, getting a little wet with paint. And I'm going to come in and I'm just going to tap. This is not technically brush abuse, but we're just going to tap in. And I don't know if you can see, can you see the difference? In it, you see the dark on the outside and a little bit of the light on the inside. That's what we're doing. We're just kind of creating a little kind of funky design in there. So the light, I don't know if you can see it. See, light on the inside, dark on the outside. I dig that. And if you wanted to layer it with something even like a small brush and add little dots, hmm, maybe we do that. I don't know. You That's see. what I'm doing. Oh, whoa, you're fancy pants over here. Didn't know you were so cool. Uh, when you're washing your brush, I really like dry brushes, so make sure you make sure they're clean and they're dry, because I hate when, when I'm working with the paint and then the water drips down. Ugh, I hate that. Okay, so I'm going to be working into my, um, my yellow part um, in the top part, so I am done. thinking... Wait, can I have a green? Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. We're gonna work on that. So let's see, I'm gonna need your uh, orange paint, orange paint. So I'm gonna do the same thing for my yellow, but I'm gonna kinda, oops. I'm gonna kinda do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna do the light color, cause there's no rules in art. You can break the rules. You're a rule breaker. But you just said there were no rules in art. Yes, are you saying the rule is to break it? No. You there are no rules. Break the rules, but if there are no rules, well, you can't break don't be them. a stickler. Don't be a stickler. So there we go. Okay. All right. Oop, I was going to use it in my coffee pot, in my coffee cup. Break the rules. It's okay. These are rules that are okay to break. Except don't break the law today. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. I fought the law, and the law won. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of orange, and I'm going to do that in the center here. See how I have that? So, see, I have that kind of, and I'm just going to keep patting it, kind of just, see how I have that? All right, just kind of just making it. It kind of looks like a, a watercolor at the end, I think. I think that's what it's going to look like, Some, something far out and funky. That's all. That's all we're trying to do. Just having a good time. That's what it's about. With your paints. Alrighty. So right now, I painted the outsides. Okay, yours is better looking, I know, already. We did kind of two different colors to blend on each side. And now we're gonna add uh, the background a little bit, okay? We're gonna add the background. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make stems for my flowers. Simon already has a stem for his. He's just going nuts. He's just not even listening to me. He's doing his own thing, which is okay. So um, I'm going to be working with, let's see, you all know I'm very particular with my brushes. I'm going to work with a flat angled brush because I maybe want some cool lines. And um, do we have green? I'm going to use your green. I'm going to be... Uh, Greens, okay, oops, my paints are not so great. 
okay? And I'm gonna make some stems. You don't have to do some stems, you could do um, some petals. So I'm gonna kinda come down like that. See how I'm doing that? Just kinda come down. I love flat brushes. Let your brush do the work for you. Don't work harder, work smarter. Okay, so maybe this stem is Eat like that. Beat the devil out of it. What? No, we're not beating up anybody. No, okay. Bob Ross said beat the devil out oh, of it. Oh, that's time. true. That's true. He was a good man. He was a good man. All right, so here we go. And I'm just doing my, I'm doing my little lines here. See how I'm doing that? That actually came out a lot better than I thought. Okay? They're starting to look like flowers, right? Totally. All right? And maybe, maybe you want to do some, some little, some little leaves or something like that. Some, some petals. If you're using a flat brush, it does the, it does the shape for you. It does the shape for you. Okay? So maybe we do that. Okay? Nice. Yeah. I know. I'm super excited too. I know all four of you are excited. So feel free. If you want interaction, you can text me. Some of you have my number or post online. And I, when this is done, I want to see some of the pictures. I want you guys to post them onto this or onto our Facebook page or send them to me because I want to share them because I want to see what they're, what they're like. Um, and don't be hard on yourself. The other thing what I'm going to do is, um, um, we are going to, some of the details we could probably end afterwards, but I think, I think I'm going to do this now before I start to really lose people. I'm going to add some, a little bit of details. Uh, I'm going to black. Hmm. Uh, let me see. I got brown. Well, what do well, you this know? This is starting to look really good. That is looking really good, Simon. We're all. Stephanie says they look like tulips. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. I don't think this bottom area Thank is you. that good. Because, yeah. But Somebody good. got it. I was worried. I was worried that they weren't looking like tulips. So, um, I was falling apart. Should um, I so just so you know, my show fingers it or are. Save it to the end. Uh, let's save it to the end. We're almost done. Um, ooh, it's a cheap brush. I'm going to do some like little kind of little, little things coming out, like little petals. Do we have some brown? Yes, we do, because we don't have black. We have, we have black downstairs. Brown. <laughs> I don't know if this makes it worse or whatever. Brown? Say excuse me. It's called good manners. Who needs those? Everybody needs those, all right? So I'm putting a little dots. Uh, whatever you want to do, whatever. These are your flowers living in your spring garden. These are yours. Now I think they look like bugs, but I don't think they look too bad. I don't think they look too bad, considering I didn't know what I was doing. All right? Okay? You two can do this. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the... What, what is this kid doing? All these brushes. Mm. All right, so now, as we're recovering from our burns, from our glue gun, oh, we've got Bart, hopefully uh, Jeter is watching too. Um, we're working on this now. I'm gonna show you a technique. You can do this before your detail work or after. I'm gonna do it, obviously, after my detail work, because, well, I already did it. Um, I'm gonna add some kind of like background to frame it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get um, a bristly brush, a bristly brush, mm, kind of a bristly brush. This is where you can do a little brush abuse or being tough on your brushes, all right? It's okay, it's okay for this. So what we're gonna do, remember for those of you who came late, we're working on a toilet paper three-dimensional craft. Whoops, we're running a little over. Um, so here we go. I am going to have, I don't know, does anybody want to tell me what my background should be? Should it be blue? Should it be green? What do you think should be the circling, um, the, to add focus? Um, I had green in here. I'm thinking blue. I'm thinking of different blues. 
kind of like a Simon said the sky. You can do it in different ways, but I think I'm going to add it here. I, I use the white as my background so you could, you could really see the contrast for the video. So um, if anybody speak now or forever hold your peace, because I think I'm going to go with blue. I know I'm going to go with blue. So the first one I'm going to do is when we do this. Wow, Simon, yours is really impressive. That is really impressive. You have a whole spring scene. I'm really impressed. So I've got, I've got three different house? blues. I've got three different blues. I'm going to work with, um, hmm. here's your art question. Some people say, hey, Deborah, how do you tell different blues? So some are cool and some have a little bit of a warm tone. When you're working with your cools, they're more towards the true blues. And when you start to add kind of that warmth, it says purple. Hmm. Stephanie says purple. Well, you know what? I am one not to disappoint my students. So, ooh, this looks like somebody watered this down. I'm going to go with purple. I'm going to go with purple. I like the use of purple because it is, um, it's more of a contrast. It's, it's on a different part of the color wheel than let's say if we went with blue. Blue is like a cousin to the green. So the purple is gonna be more of a contrast. Um, so I think that'll be cool with the green. It'll pick up on that green. So blue tie dye. Well, how about we do a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue and a little bit of pink? What do you all think? Let's try it. We don't know. We don't know how this is gonna work. Um, so we're going to use purple as our base and we're going to add a little bit of a light blue and then maybe a little bit of pink and it'll kind of bring it all together because blues, purples and pinks work well because blue and red make blue and purple, or, I'm sorry, blue, it makes purple, it makes purple. Okay, so get your uh, paper towels. We don't want to waste too much. Once again, thank you, Markal. We're gonna get our bristly brush and we're gonna get our brush a little bit of wet. See, see how that is? Not sopping wet because we'll have trouble, we'll have trouble controlling our paint, okay? Trouble controlling our paint. It's about control. I know early this morning I said, let it go. Don't worry about things that you can't control. Well, this is something we can control. This is something we control. So what we're gonna do is, hold on a second. We're gonna come around, I'm gonna be working on the edge. See how I'm doing that? I'm kind of coming around and I'm it's framing just it. It's pretty good. It is it? Well, you've used like my, oh, I just got my, made a mess. Uh, you can do it any way you want, but you see how I'm kind of tapping? I feel like Bob Ross, uh, where he made happy little trees. And yeah, I'm kind of going over some of my, we need a bigger studio. Uh, I'm kind of going over some of the stuff that I did, some of my detail work, but that's okay. It's like, this is like um, a lavender field and we're, we're poking it through, we're opening it up and we see our little flowers shining through and our stems. So that's, oh, my finger got stuck, okay? Okay, just tapping, tapping, tapping. See how I did that? See how I did that? So Stephanie asked for purple. So I gave purple, but now somebody had said, Deborah, and I never disappoint, do a little bit of blue. So we're gonna make a tie dye with a little bit of blue. I'm cleaning off my brush. I'm not wet, making it wet because I want it to be a dry brush. I want a dry brush. That'll help. How many paints do you need? You are an artiste. So I'm gonna, um, ooh, some of these paints have been sitting in my basement, I think longer. How old are you, Simon? 11. Yeah. It might be older than Simon. So once again, see, dry brush, dry brush. And I'm coming in and I'm just going to kind of work lightly. See, see how beautiful, see how beautiful that's coming in. Just kind of lightly kind of adding it. Maybe you want it more up at the top. You know what I mean? Maybe we don't want to have a lot coming into the bottom. I don't know. I haven't decided. I'm just winging it. That's right. I'm winging it. So we're just kind of coming in. Maybe we're doing a little bit of blue. And this is so much fun because you can keep on doing this for like forever. I'm going to have 
to go into a little bit of the bottom, but I might have a little bit more pink on the bottom. So see how we're doing that? See well, how that's coming yeah. out? All right, why don't you show them while I'm drying my brush? You have a different take. You have a different take. And this is this is totally valid for you to do. Simon, I love it. I really love it. So you can see, what, are those birds? Yeah. Okay, they're not bats, right? The birds. It's our birds. And no, I just wanted to make sure, because from a distance, there are birds, there's a sun. Simon painted a scene, and that's totally cool. You may want more of a scene. I'm not as good as a painter as Simon, so I need to, um, to, to wing it. I need to wing it. So, and I said I'm going to add a little bit of pink as well. I'm going to add a little bit of pink to my purple to kind of bring it together and kind of bring out the pink in my flower. So I'm going to work a little bit on the bottom coming up. So I'm going to show you in just a second. I don't know if you can see it. So see? So see how they're all kind of coming together? A little bit of the pink trailing up to the top. So those two, the, the, the pink and the blue are making that lovely purple. And that's how we're getting that tie-dye, Katie, is what you, you suggested. You wanted the blue tie-dye and Stephanie wanted the purple. So I think this is a lovely compromise and it really balances the pink flowers, you know what I mean? Which are more up. So I'm coming in and as you can see, I am doing kind of brush abuse. I am. And my, when my brush is really dry, I can get like almost a soft mist, a soft mist, um, really soft color. And I'll show you in a second. I'm going to add some more purple, more to the edges. Simon is continuing to work. And I'm going to get that like kind of misty look for you. And, uh, and I'm going to show you what that looks like in a sec. So see how that is? See how soft? See how soft that is over in here versus where it's much more purpley, okay? So when you're working, the drier your brush, the softer as you tap, 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 the softer it will be, and that creates a really nice effect, okay? So that's what we're doing. I might add a, might add a little blue, kind of fill in. It also helps you, oops, I don't know, I got the wrong blue. Where'd this wacky blue come from? Oh, I'll add a little bit. Simon, you know, this was a happy accident. Your peanut butter got my chocolate. And what's your line, Simon? My chocolate, your chocolate got in my peanut butter, my, your peanut butter got in my chocolate. Something like that, if anybody knows it. What? So you've never heard that? No, Reese's peanut butter there. cups. They, I don't know. It's people walk into each other. They have an accident, and somebody's peanut butter gets on somebody's chocolate. I don't know, but that's what that it used to be. Not G rated. It's G rated. Okay, so um, it's an old commercial. Well, Simon got some of his darker blue next to where I'm working. And it got on my brush, but I think I really incorporated it really well. That's what Bob Ross talks about, those happy little accidents. The last thing I might add is, Simon, how, how, many, how many brushes? Simon, this was, this was not necessary. What, do you know how, I'm making you clean all these, my gosh. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one last thing, and then we're going to say goodbye. I Our still client. need to do... You're just... You keep going. You're doing more of a landscape, which is nice. You're doing a scene. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to, to the center to add some warmth, okay? So this really works well if you picked a white background because then it'll, it'll soften it. So we're going to add... If we can find a little bit of our, ooh, you don't want to see what our workspace looks like. It's it's frightening. All right. How's everybody doing? Anybody following along? Anybody actually trying this or anybody going to try this later? Please let me know. I want to know. So I'm going to add, ooh, I'm going to add just a little bit. So here, I don't know if you can see that. 
I'm just getting the tips, the very tips of my brush. Yes, don't yell at me. I know this looks like brush abuse. This is a brush that likes to be abused, I guess. So um, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting the ends, the ends of um my brush just the ends with a little bit of the yellow and i'm doing more of like little dots see how that comes out see how that comes out yeah and it just adds like i don't know like maybe there's like pollen flying around or or i don't know fairies or whatever happens i don't know what happens in nature so it kind of gives it a nice look so here is they do kind of they i think they look like tulips but I do understand if they look like bugs on sticks. Um, but here is my toilet paper Amazon box craft. So you should have all these things around in your house, maybe. If not, and you need supplies, you know what, let me know. Give me a shout out. Or if you know, oh, let me see, we got somebody uh, Wait, let me I say, show yeah, hold on. Oh, I just lost that. Katie was working on hers. So I will definitely post yours, Katie. I don't want to screw up my toilet paper camera holding apparatus. Um, yeah, toilet paper is actually holding up my camera. So I will post these of anybody that's working on it. Um, but from what I could see, it looked pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you know, if there's, um, if you think that there's certain supplies that you need, and you're really desperate um, and you want to create because that's part of what it is you let me know and I will find a way to get you supplies that you could do things it might be toilet paper rolls it might be because that's what I have and I'm cheap so Simon are you almost done so we can see yours as well and um, but yeah please chime in if anybody else is working on theirs Simon used a brush for like every spot. I mean, there's like 50 brushes here. You can wash them or wipe them off. So let's ah. see. Yes. Oh, what, what's going on here? Somebody's getting a hug? Who is this? Um, I'm not done yet. Oh, you're not done yet. All right. Well, we're going to be... Oops. Need to add a few more things. Okay. Well, I'm going to be finishing up and then hopefully you'll be done in time. So um, I think this was not a bad idea. I do recommend if you're using regular glue, just give it a little bit of time to let your um, things dry or get a hair dryer. It might work. I don't know if that'll crack the glue. I don't know. But um, if you're using a glue gun, please <laughs> use caution as I've burned myself a number of times here. Um, I'm sure this might take a while. But I, it's going to take a while. All right. Well, we can see you're half finished. You want to show people where you're at? Where you're at? Okay, Simon, so one of the things that I do want to address with people is the brush, if you're working on detail work, some of you chime in if you know this, if you, the brush you use, well, the, well, the, sorry, well, the type of work that you're working on is going to dictate what kind of brush you use. So if you're working in small space, small detail, fine detail, you're going to use a fine, small brush. If you're working with big, broad brush strokes, you might want to use a flat brush or it could be a round brush. But you might, if you're working in bigger space, you would use a big brush. So that's one thing to remember when we're working on things. Um, so that's a good thing to consider. So, Simon, are you almost ready to show yours, and then we're going to say goodbye? I just need to add his face. Okay, he's adding a face. I don't know how there's a face in here. No, so, please like, feel free. Let me know for... what, um, wh what you thought of my project. What you thought. I, I can handle it. I'm, well, I'm, I can, let me see. Let's see Simon's. Nice, Simon. I really like that. Yours has a lot of cool detail. This is a wonderful spring day. Today's a little cool. I still need to add the blimp bottom, actually. Wait, there's a blimp? Hold on. And another brush? Another brush? Simon! Oh, no, use the these ones. Just, just clean it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> How many brushes? Dude, I'm going to be cleaning until we're back at the center. Um, so, please, yes. This was our first art class. We ran a little over because we were waiting for people to join in. So I apologize. Oh, let's see. Somebody said Simon's work. Very nice. Uh, 
Let's see. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Yeah, you can work on this throughout the day. This is, you know, not, it's not like you have to finish it right away. You can work on it throughout the week too. You know, feel free. You can keep adding your different flowers and stuff. That's why mine, I, I did it. I was tired of burning my hand. So um, I only did it that way. Up, oh, Kara and Cheryl say it was very nice. They like yours. I'm beginning to think people like yours better than mine. That's usually the way it goes at the center. Members work is always better than mine. So we are going to sign off for now so you can get busy creating, um, getting your supplies. Can you send a picture when I'm done, like fully done? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So please text me, email me, post onto our thing. You're um, going to have a lot of cleaning to do. I know I'm going to have a lot of cleaning to do. Story of my life. Story of my life. Says, thank you. It was fun to watch. Stephanie, please keep in. We'll, we'll be posting schedules and stuff like that. Always join in. The more people we get to do this, the more fun it will be. It'll be lots of fun. So even if you get this after the video and it's no longer live, just, just share a comment. The more we're connected, it'll be a lot of fun. And... Um, so yeah, share your finished pieces, please. Um, I want to see them, yeah. and I want to know Mom, because maybe you we know can start what I'm selling doing. them. You know, you know what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing, but yeah, everyone. Yeah, I do. Okay, you're using another brush. So Simon and I, uh, tomorrow we'll be back for cooking. I think on Monday. What are we going to do? I don't know. I don't know what we're cooking yet. I don't know. I don't know. I'm winging it. I'm winging it. So, Simon, do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Um, I think I'm close to being... Oh, my gosh. I think I have a blister on my finger. What we do for art. All righty. No everyone. Look at that. Look at that. That's, That's a real a burn blister. blister. What we do. So, safety first. And everyone, keep up um, a positive attitude and bring flowers to your life. Bye.